we all know they dropped the video Tuesday and Thursday. Coach felt like he was missing on Thursday, but he we found him. But we'll get to that one moment because we had a video on Tuesday. Tuesday was the Diamond Dynasty video. Um, we kind of predicted that last podcast. What would we get? Either the Diamond Dynasty or the Next Generation video. But we got the DD video. And it showed a couple of new pictures. It showed the new interface, the dark mode type of interface, what your my squad will look like. It also showed the first inning program. Now, if you look at the first inning program, we have it on the screen here if you watch it on YouTube. And it shows you the streamline of going to stubs, to the pack, stadium, stubs. But what you want to look is that it's XP base, not star base. Remember, the programs was usually you get program stars, whether through grinding conquests, online stats, or anything else in particular showdowns, you will get a certain amount of stars going towards the program. Now it looks more like XP. We don't know if that's confirmed yet. We're just going based off what, what was given in the video. But Kooks, from here, it looks like as long as you just keep on playing the game, no matter if it's online, offline, you're going to gain more XP, and it's going to go straight to the inning program. That's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, um, I mean, I I feel like there's some people out there that that know that could probably answer this question for us, but we're haven't program stars always been kind of tied to XP? Because I've, I've had people tell me like, oh, every three innings you play, you earn a program star or you yeah. got to earn this amount of XP. So I've never really known how the program stars were actually calculated. Um, and if this is the route they're going, if they're just going purely XP based, I think that'll make it a lot easier for people to kind of keep up with and kind of understand. Um, but yeah, I, I still think it'll probably work relatively similar. Like, I don't think it's. It's definitely a new thing if this is the way they're going, but I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to be super game changing no. considering that program stars kind of, I feel like go hand in hand with XP to begin with. So I will have to wait and see, but yeah, it, it is interesting to think about like it just kind of a small change like that. I wonder if it maybe will have a bigger impact down the line. So we'll see. Maybe it's their way of saying like how would they say they're streamlining it. They want to just, make it one i guess it's not like currency but one way of earning it, and that's just xp no more stars it's all xp and maybe yeah. it's a similar path how we had it before it's just a different way to get it they'll translate no that makes the, sense the that, stars that actually is XP. a good point yeah so i think that's a good case but look at that first thing uh where's kluber i don't see kluber anywhere <laughs> come on now come yeah, on. let's we're, relax we're, at we're at level we're at level seven here oh, yeah, where there's a ball and there's a habit <laughs> Uh, speaking of that, do you think do you think they're actually we're going to see like a ninety nine Kluber or a ninety nine Kershaw like in in like say the XP path? I know this is the first inning program we're talking about, but just bring up the XP path. What do you expect if there is an XP path too? Um, seeing that they're I don't know what's going on. We'll get more info as it comes out, but I'm curious who's going to be that next Kluber? Who's going to be that next Kershaw? We don't know if there is going to be one. As much as I hate it, I think. I think there just has to be as mm. much as much as I don't want there to be. I think there has to be because if you're going to make collections available day one, you know, some people are going to go out there and finish collections and have, you know, this year it was 99 Mickey Mantle and Biggio and Sheffield. You kind of need to give people a card that can counter those guys early in the year. Yeah. So it's unfortunate, but I, I think we will get another one. I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe like a, Maybe like a Oral Hershiser or something Ooh. like that. I think that'd be a fun one. But um, yeah, That's we'll see. I don't know. Too, with Hershiser. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I mean, Kluber is considered, I guess, end game. But by the time you see him, like within, I guess, June, August, everyone's seen him. So they'll be able to hit him. But Hershiser is a good one. Oh, we'll see. I, I kind of hope they wait until maybe like bring out like for the first XP path, maybe bring out like, say, a 94 instead of 99. And then once you get to silver, then you get the first 99, maybe something like that. Like progress yeah, maybe more as something, you go. something more scaled. Yeah, yeah, much more scaled base. And then not just dropping the straight 99 and that maybe it's different cards instead of just that one pack with all the same cards. Like mm -hmm. from here, you only get this certain amount of cards and make you really think. And maybe if they do that, like you only could get one choice for those particular cards on that XP path, make them sellable. Because if, say, you have four different cards just for bronze, and that's it. You're never going to see that that again. You can make them sellable because they'll be 
on the market. Oh, and okay, okay, I say, get what you're saying. They'll be exclusive, I get what you're saying. so they'll they'll have a value to it, and they won't lose that value because there'll be only a certain amount. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That, that's know. an interesting idea. Also, um, with like, let's say they do scale it, so like you hit level 100 or level mm -hmm. 99 in bronze or whatever and then you go up to silver and then you hit silver level 99 in the the pack at the end there mm -hmm. is that going to be the same players yeah. in that pack but like upgraded overalls or no. okay so like let's just say like for sake of argument you had uh salvador perez manny machado i don't know just like a couple guys would would you have like a 92 machado and then like a 95 machado and a 95 I'd perez and then when you get to like that's the, the only thing about that is i feel like that kind of makes the other cards when you're hitting like bronze level 99 kind of irrelevant because mm -hmm. you're like okay well i'm just gonna take the best one that's available and i can always buy the other ones if i need to but why would i need to buy them when i could just get a better overall yeah. like later down the that's line true. so i don't know and we'll find out